Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I've got a new project. I'm too cheap for a BMW top box, so I thought, hmm, what else can I do? I'd seen a couple of videos where people had used Pele cases and thought, ah, that sounds like a good idea. So, I bought myself one. This isn't the real one, this is a, it's a knockoff one. It's still very, very good quality. And um, the only thing is that this does not fit onto this which is the base plate on the back of the bike. So stick around, stay tuned, find out what I did to make it fit. Okay, so the problem brief was, I've got to make this fit, this box fit on this base plate. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, no company makes the fixings for it. Um, there's some companies called, one company called Caribou Cases, who make fitting kits for Pele cases to different bikes but not for mine so I thought I've got a 3D printer I can try 3D printing stuff um, 3D printing is, is one solution but you've got to design and print your components in such a way so that all the loads and forces take into account your layer adhesion strength um, and the, the strength of the material as well so through trial and improvement, I've made this setup. So these are the two front feet, which will go on the box. They're made out. Of the, they've been printed solidly, so um, it's like solid plastic that's come off the printer. That, that printer there. That is my Pusher Mini, um, but it's solid plastic. So there's quite a bit of weight to them. Um, for being made out of plastic um, and they feel pretty substantial so they should do a really good job of actually locating the box in the base plate um, and holding the front of it down. Uh, the next bit is this bit here which is a sliding mechanism so in here is the bolt that holds it all in, an M5 bolt um, and this is the clamp that clamps onto the, the base plate itself and this holds it in place and allows it to slide back and forth like that and on top there's a hex, uh, a hex point here that the nut goes in um, and then it's just bolted onto the case through these, these holes here so um, What's going to happen now is that the video is going to show you um, preparation and fitting of these components onto it. Um, I've already marked out roughly where things are going. I've used painter's tape to do that. Um, and I used super glue down on these just to make sure that they were in the right locations. Um, so now I can go about drilling all these holes in place um, and then test fitting it on the base plate and test fitting it on the bike. So stick around for that.
this is. And there is one BMW base plate mounted to the bottom of this belly case. As you can see, that is fairly rigid. It is not going anywhere um, anytime soon. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will fit on the bike. Um, as far as keeping loads in this constrained, I'm going to get a couple of um, like strap things fitted inside, do, do a bit of fitting on the inside to keep things secure um, so that they're not rattling around in there. Um, like maybe use a bag or something just to, to keep everything safe, but uh, hopefully this will load up. This will do nicely to keep everything loaded nicely. Um, if I had to do this again, um, I'd make this base plate a bit bigger. Um, I'd make this all out of PETG, which I might do uh, when this needs to be refitted. Um, but make this base plate just a, a little bit uh, bigger so that it clamps in a bit better. Um, and I'd put a penny washer here just to distribute load on this clamp a bit more. Um, but yeah, as with any sort of design project like this, a lot of trial and error does happen. These are some of the bits that were printed up to mock it up and make sure bits fitted and seeing how fitment went. Um, as you can see, the tolerance on that is zero, um, or the clearance on that is zero. Um, so it's not um, it's not fitting properly. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, the next bit will be this on the bike. So yeah, if you've liked this video, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe below. It really helps me out with uh, analysing how I'm doing on this. Um, and also um, helps me out from YouTube's point of view as well and actually starts promoting my material as well. Um, which I want to do because I want you guys to watch it and enjoy it. So um, by all means, please like and subscribe and help us out. Thank you very much. Cheers.